Chart titles are often a wasted opportunity to connect with your audience and drive home your message. Instead of a boring title, make the title short and snappy to introduce the chart and then add a subtitle to expand the story or findings in the data. Let's look at some ideas for how we can leverage this prime chart real estate to help your audience get the most from the chart. Here I have a typical cluster column chart which shows the annual percentage of bee colonies lost in grey, orange is a percentage lost in summer and blue is a percentage lost in winter. Now there's a lot of information in this chart and we can see fairly easily that winter losses are increasing while summer losses are declining, but your audience might not notice or might not even be bothered to look long enough to notice. So we can help them out by including a subtitle. Simply insert a text box at the top of your chart. Now I'll just make the plot area a little bit smaller so we have more room for the text box. And in here we can type in our message. Let's format the font in a shade of gray. And then I'm going to color code the keywords in the subtitle to match the columns in the chart. So winter is blue, and I'm going to make it bold just to make it easier to read. And summer is orange. Now I'm going to go a shade darker than the columns. That just makes the font easier to read. Now all I need to do is center the text and hide the outline of the text box. I'll set it to no outline. And I'll just drag it across to the left so that it's in line with the chart title. By color coding the legend items in the subtitle, we simply make it quicker to interpret and relate back to the chart. Now with the subtitle, we have a better chance of conveying our message. Plus our audience will thank us for making their job easy. We can also use subtitles in place of legends. Again, by using the color coding we saw in the previous example. So here I can insert a text box at the top of the chart. Let's make the text box a bit bigger and I'll format the font in a shade of gray. Now we can highlight winter losses, including losses, and format the font to match the columns. Make this a shade of orange and bold. Let's center the text and hide the shape outline. I'll just move it slightly to the left and a little bit smaller so it's not overlapping the title. So you can see there I haven't needed a legend as well as my subtitle. Now when you remove the legend and rely on the title or subtitle color coding, keep in mind those with color blindness and be sure to use colors that are easily distinguished. Making colored font bold will also help differentiate them from the rest of the text. Another use for subtitles is to add context or detail not present in the chart. For example, here beekeeper numbers are down 34% since their peak in 2013-14, but you can't easily work that out at a glance. So we can insert a text box. And I'm going to color code down 34% to match the highlighted column in the chart. Let's make the outline go away and we'll just align it slightly over to the left. Now when writing chart titles and subtitles, keep your audience in mind. Remember, just because something is clear to you doesn't mean it will be clear to your audience. I hope you found this tip useful. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And don't forget to share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.